You who are highly favoured by our Most High God. Um, who are you? Where are you? This is the first visitor I've had since March. I am Gabriel. I am sent as a messenger from God. Do not be afraid. You may not be able to see me because I am speaking to you from the next room. You see, it is difficult to have a face-to-face -face conversation when these Nazareth kitchens are less than two metres wide. Yes, I can see the problem. What was that you were saying about most highly favoured? Well, this is what is exciting. You know there are stories in the Bible that point to a great king who will save the people from the consequences of their bad actions. So God and humans can be reconciled. Well, yes, I've heard the stories, though I'm not sure whether it will ever happen. Well, this is it. It is going to happen. And you, Mary, have been chosen to carry that child. Me? Mary? <laughs> Are you sure you've got the right address? I'm not even married. <laughs> Pretty sure. Um, let me check. You do have an Aunt Elizabeth, don't you? A lovely lady, but she hasn't been able to have any children. Uh, yes, I do. So well, guess what? She is going to have a child. <gasps> Isn't it wonderful? Oh, yes. You could go and visit her to check it. Oh, could I do Oh, no. Um, on second thoughts, best not. Um, she lives in the North East. Oh. I could set up a Zoom meeting if you would like. Oh, oh Aunt Elizabeth, that's wonderful news. Oh, it's, so, so that does mean that I am the one that's being chosen? Absolutely. It is you that has been chosen. By the power of God, you will fall pregnant. And the child you will carry will be known as the Son of God. Oh, that's pretty massive. <laughs> and, to be frank, extremely terrifying. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, <sighs> but I do know that God is good and kind, and we really do need a saviour for the world. Please tell him that I will be happy to help in whatever way I can. Great! We were hoping you were going to say that. <laughs> Take care! Stay safe! Oh. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> oh, to be honest, I don't feel very safe at the moment. But I can tell in my heart that this is God's plan, and it is the right thing to do. Oh, I should really tell Joseph.
Oh, hold on, Mary. Sorry. Calm down. Two metres. <laughs> We're not in a bubble yet. <laughs> so what's this all about? Because well, I'm I... not having another conversation about the wedding arrangements. I know it's been postponed three times already, but we both agreed we wanted all 53 guests at the wedding. There's no chance of it happening before Christmas. What's Christmas? No idea. What's the news? I am going to be pregnant! Yes, of course. Well, I understand you're a bit keen. I mean, <laughs> I'm rugged and handsome, but uh, <laughs> I did say that we should be doing things properly, so perhaps sometime after Easter. What's Easter? No idea. You were saying? So, I have had a visitor. A visitor? A visitor. A, a real human being calling round? Well, I'm not sure about the human being part. I think it might have been an angel. But, but anyway, they were there where you're standing in the living room, and I was here in the kitchen. So, you see, I did try to keep to the rules. But they said that I am going to become pregnant by the power of God's Holy Spirit and I am going to carry the Son of God. What? And so I went to the chemist and I got this test and you see that the little blue line there? D yes, I think so. Oh, wait. So I'm going to have the child of God. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I knew you'd be pleased. Pleased? Pleased? Mary, how could you? Here I am, following all the rules, maintaining social distance at two metres with everyone, and you're pregnant. That doesn't happen with social distancing in any books I've ever read. I'm really upset with you. Oh, no, Joe. Joe. Sorry to interrupt here, folks, but we must now go live to Jerusalem, where we have a lockdown briefing with Governor Quirinius of Syria. Citizens of Judea, you will be aware that recent events have been costing your Roman superiors a great deal of money, and that the spread in uprisings has meant an implementation of local lockdowns. Furthermore, we have had to upgrade our armour, or as we call it, personal protective equipment. To meet the rising costs of this PPE, we are introducing a new tax and trace app, which each of you must register for in the place of your birth. You have one week to get there, or else, and if I may say, the consequences could be pretty severe. Get packing. Get paying. Thank you very much. Hail Caesar. You know what, Mary? It's pretty horrible living in this Roman kind of lockdown. If it weren't for that angel visiting me in a dream, I would have thought the end of the world had come. But, I suppose, I have you, you have this baby, and, well, I suppose we'll just have to hope that the world will get better. Uh, but until then, you and I have a journey to go on. Where to? To my hometown. To Bethlehem! I thought you were from Seaford. Yes, it, it may look like Seaford, but for the purpose of this story, let's call it Bethlehem, shall oh, okay. we? <laughs> uh, the name means House of God, uh, House of Bread, and uh, of course, well, there's Burt's Bakery just off uh, Broad Street, so I imagine that's probably the same thing. Of course, if you say so, Joe. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, Bethlehem has certainly changed a lot since I was here 20 years ago. I hardly recognize the place. Got to say, I feel a bit out of place too. I had no idea it was this big. Then again, I had no idea I would ever be this big. <laughs> the baby could come along at any moment. Joe, isn't it a bit odd that it's so empty? There should be hundreds of people here for the census. I hope they haven't imposed a curfew, those Romans. Yes, it does seem rather strange. I suppose we should find a local inn. Oh, there's oh. one. Ah, I've heard an ad about this. Apparently, we will wake up wonderful. <laughs> Hello, Dom. Uh, excuse me, do you have a room for the night? Uh, we're here for the census, and uh, we have travelled many miles, and my wife is exhausted, uh, and my donkey even more so. Um, also, do you still do the breakfast with the help yourself to all the sausages and the little mini chocolate muffins? Yeah. Really sorry. Lockdown restrictions mean that we cannot accommodate you unless you've booked online. This is to comply with the Roman tax and trace registration regulations. <laughs> Please, you can see my wife is greatly with child. I am really sorry. We're both from out of town. <laughs> This baby could pop at any moment. Is there anything you could do? Oh, so sorry, but all of our rooms have to be cleaned before they can be released. There really isn't anything I can do for you, I'm afraid. Unless... No. But maybe... No, no, silly idea. Go on. Well, we do have a stable. You could try that. A stable? That's unexpected. <laughs> The nice man is trying to be helpful. We need somewhere. We'll take it. Thank you very much. Come along, donkey. Sheep are a bit noisy tonight, aren't they? Oh, hello, sheep. Let's hear some more sheep. Come on, then. Ah, very nice. Very good sheep. Right, that's enough now. Thank you very much. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Watch her. All right. Cold night tonight. You ought to be used to it by now. Well, not really. I haven't been doing this job long. I used to be in musical theatre until they put us on furlough. Mm. Now I've had to retrain as an agricultural man management consultant. Ugh. You mean you're a shepherd? Yes, yeah. a shepherd doing shepherdy things like um, herding sheep and, and, oh, I just don't think I'm very good at it. Although these sheep seem to be quite appreciative. Mm. Thank you. Well, if you're looking for spectacle... Yes. Music. Yes. Drama. Yes. Then you've retrained in entirely the wrong job. Oh. Nothing like that ever happens round here. Oh. Nothing like that ever happens round here? Nope, never. Then what is that? Do not be afraid. No! <laughs> I bring glad tidings and joy and goodwill to all people. Tonight, for one night only, the angelic choir bring you the news of the best story ever told in the whole wide world. A king a saviour of the world is to be born. God is arriving as a human and ushering in his kingdom of love and peace. When pain and suffering shall be no more. Alleluia! You're all wonderful. Oh, Take a bow. forget them. Forget the sheep. This is the best news ever. 
Let's get down to Bethlehem and find the child. Praise be to God. Oh, praise be to God. Woohoo! <laughs> three wise men who have traveled many miles from the east, following the star that has brought us to where the newborn king is to be born. We have journeyed through the desert. We've even crossed quite a few tier three lockdown regions. Yes, yes, and since arriving here, we have quarantined for 14 days. So, may we see the new king, sir? New king? New king? I am the leader here. <laughs> Come on, oh yes he is. <laughs> oh no he's not, oh yes he is. Well, uh, no, we, we, we're pretty sure we're in the right place. We, we followed the star yes. and it led us uh, here. Yes. I've had the opportunity to look at the internet. The palace Wi-Fi is quite slow, but that gave me enough time to, uh, to catch up. So um, thank you for those helpful comments. The... Well, it's evident, it's apparent that the, babe, that the child, the baby, will be born in Bethlehem. Now, if you three might actually find the child, then please do come back and let me know. Because I really do want to uh, worship that baby. Uh, now I have a Zoom call. I have a, ch a, c a committee to chair. You're still here. Go oh, find him. Sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, thank you for sorry, your time. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Are we sure we're in the right place? Well, he just said the baby would be born in Bethlehem. Well, we're sure this is Bethlehem. Well, I, I think so. I mean... Oh, yes, look, there's Burt's Bakers just off Broad Street. Yes. Uh, no, we can't be far away. Yeah. Oh, fellas, I've just had a thought. 
What is it? Well, uh, uh, <coughs> we're going to see a new king, right? Yeah, right, yes, yes, that's right. Don't you think we ought to take some presents with us? I thought you had them. Me? No. I've just brought me hand luggage. Oh. <sighs> what are we going to do? <gasps> I've had a splendid idea. Come on, fellows, this way. Oh, this Come way. with me. Yeah. Come on, off we go. <clears throat> Good afternoon, shoppers. We would like to remind our valued customers to please stick to social distancing guidelines at all times. We would like to also inform you of a special reduced to clear offer on luxury items, including gold, frankincense and myrrh. Have a nice day. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, love. <laughs> I'm looking for myrrh. Myrrh? Never heard of myrrh. Oh, try and skin care. <laughs> ah, myrrh. It's between the gold and the frankincense on aisle five. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thank you very much.
were just wondering. It, it may be dark outside, but can we come in and meet the little baby? The angels told us that the saviour of the world is to be born here tonight. Yes, and I'm so very excited. I'm so excited. I, I could almost, I could almost... Sing! No, no, Joy no, no, to no, 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 don't world. do that. No, or maybe no. do, do a little dance like da 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 Broadway, baby! And just hands. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <clears throat> a bit excited. We, we just wanted to say what a privilege it is to be here, knowing that God really does care about the world, to come down in such vulnerability amongst us. Poor and struggling shepherds. <laughs> well, he's a shepherd. I'm an actor. Oh, yes, sir. Two meter distance, sorry. Oh, look at the little Gucci baby. Oh, adorable. So bravo. Oh, yeah, I think we should be going. <laughs> really? Oh, look, there's a, there's a flamboyant looking man over there. He, he might be an actor no, no, too. No, no, let, oh, let, let's go, go and, and give hello. them some space. What? Two meters from me and preferably two kilometers from you. Oh, that's a bit rude. <laughs> This really is a very busy maternity ward. <laughs> Hello there. Honestly, I've seen so many people, I don't know whether I'm the queen or whether I'm going to get arrested for breaking government guidelines. <laughs> Did you want to, to come in, sir? Okay. Special and most blessed lady, we have traveled many miles to be here for this joyous moment. And don't forget, 14 days of self-isolation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have come many miles to see the baby that has been declared the one to break down all barriers and bring joy and peace to the world. So let us present our gifts to him. Gold, the mark of a true king. Frankincense, to show he is the one from God. And I bring... Myrrh, ointment of death, for the great king who will bring life. <laughs> Thank you ever so much for these. It has been a strange and wonderful night. Oh, and uh, you can keep the handy carrier bag. <clears throat> Thank you. For if this child is who we think he is, then this night will be remembered for many years to come, for he truly is the king of all the world. It was all a starry night When the hills were bright Earth lay sleeping Sleeping calm and still And in a cattle shed In a manger bed A boy was born King of all the world And all the angels sang for him The bells of heaven rang for him For a boy was born King of all the world And all the angels sang for him The bells of heaven rang for him For a boy was born King of all the world Soon the shepherds came that way Just sign for me. 
and the singers take a bow now and thank and let's thank them for their performance tonight. I'm going to invite uh, Laurie Holland now to come and read uh, from the Bible for us. Laurie's uh, one of our free men of the, of the town of Seaford, and uh, he's going to read from John's Gospel. Thank you, Laurie. The reading is from John 1, verses 1 to 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the word was God, and he was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. Thank you, Laurie. So, um, I wonder if you've ever been in a really dark place. Can anybody think of a place that's been really dark? No lights at all. I remember going to some caves in New Zealand, and we were issued with little head torches, went down into the caves, and then when we got right down to the bottom, our guide said, turn your head torches off. It was completely black and dark. You couldn't see a thing. And then suddenly, in the ceiling, little lights started appearing, little glowworms of light. And then we were invited to switch our lights back on again. And at the moment, it feels like we're in this dark place, doesn't it, in the UK? We're going through this long tunnel, and it doesn't seem as though there's any end to it. Yes, we've got a vaccine coming, but at the moment, it's all a bit grim. The good news that we've heard tonight is that Jesus, the true light, comes into our world now. He's not just come 2,000 years ago. He continues to come today. And no person has been able to put out his light over 2,000 years. King Herod couldn't put out his light. Pontius Pilate couldn't put out his light. Even in this century, when Christians in China were being persecuted for their faith and the churches were all being shut down by Chairman Mao, the light of Christ was not put out in those places. And today, there are millions of people who follow the Lord Jesus Christ in China. Over the last few months, the churches in the UK have not been open. The buildings have not been open. And the lights have been out. But the light of Christ has not been put out. Because people have gone into the community as we have here to show the light and the love of Christ in our communities. We think of Sea Haven Storehouse here at the community church. We think of the work that we are doing here in Cradle Hill at the cabin. And many other examples across the country of the light of Jesus being taken into our communities. So the true light will never be put out. And the good news of Christmas as we celebrate this season is that Jesus continues to come into our world today. And this week there is a reminder of that first Christmas, that birth of Jesus, as the wise men came and followed a star. Because on Monday night, if you look up into the sky, you will be able to see the great conjunction. 
The great conjunction are the planets Jupiter and Saturn effectively almost coming together as one big bright light. And the next year that is going to happen is 2080. Now, some of my friends here will still be around in 2080, but I don't suppose some of us will be. So this is our opportunity to see that phenomenon. But as we look at it, what I would like to suggest is that we remember that this is the same phenomenon that the wise men saw 2,000 years ago. And it reminds us that Jesus, the true light, continues to come into our world today. Now, as we go from here today, there are some little booklets on the counter as you go out. I'd like you to take one as a gift from us. It's called The True Light. And at the end of that booklet, it asks a question of you. It says, where are you in relation to the true light of Jesus today? We're going to hear a song now that Sally Ann and Christy are going to sing for us, which talks about the love that Jesus shows to each one of us. Thank you.
So we're going to hear now from a couple of guests who've been watching virtually today, the Lord Lieutenant and the High Sheriff. I just need to remind you, uh, after we hear from them, that there'll be another carol, and then if you could vacate the building as soon as you pr practically can, that will be really helpful. And as well as the little booklets on the way out, there is also a plate, and that is there for a retiring collection for the Mayor's Charities. And all the money that you give tonight will go to the ch charities that Rodney's supporting this year. So please be generous as you give. I'm going to pray for us now, and then we'll hear from the Lord Lieutenant and the High Sheriff. Lord, we ask you to grant us peace, peace in our homes, peace in our community, and peace in our hearts, especially when it feels like the world all around us spins out of control. Help us stay focused on you, Jesus, this Christmas time. Thank you for loving the world enough that you continue to come as the true light and help us to open our hearts to you this Christmas time. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm really sorry that I can't be with you today in person. But I just wanted to thank Councillor Rodney, the Mayor of Seaford, and you all for coming together for this annual civic carol service. It's a great celebration of the work that's going on within Seaford. And I'm only sorry that this rather nasty pandemic is causing so much disruption to us all. I do hope that you all have a very happy Christmas. It will be very different this year, I know. But of course, let's hope that 2021 will bring about an end to this rather restricted lifestyle that we're currently living and we get back to some form of normality. Do have a lovely time with your loved ones and I look forward to catching up with you all and seeing you again. Good afternoon from Fairlight, where, very sadly, this morning we've gone into Tier 3. As High Sheriff, I was hugely looking forward to being with you all this afternoon, not least because your carol concert was in fact the last left in my diary after all of the recent regulations. But it wasn't to be, and I'm recording this message for you instead. The message of Christmas is one of new beginnings and of unbounded hope and with the vaccine rollout already begun we must look forward to better times in 2021. On that note I wish you all a very happy Christmas and a healthy new year.
So a final word of blessing to you all. The joy of the angels, the wonder of the shepherds, and the peace of the Christ child fill your hearts this Christmas time. And the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you all evermore. Amen. And a very happy Christmas to you all.